Hello YouTubers, Wildcat Piper here, coming to you from the Wildcat Lounge. Hope everybody's doing great on this day. And a couple of videos ago, I did a first impressions on GLPs of Bingdon. And um, I opened the can and I smoked it. It's a great uh, English, it's a full, I would call it a, a very slow sipping <laughs> smoke. Um, it can get full, uh, especially if you're a lightweight like me, but it is a very good um, blend, and I like it a whole lot, and I'm so glad that I got a large tin. Tonight, though, I want to do a first impressions on McCullen's Hunter's Blend Foxhound. Um, this was one of the other blends that I got. And um, I just wanted to kind of give you my first impressions and tell you a little bit more about this blend. Um, I want to read the tin note, but I need to use this. That's what happens when you get old, your eyes go. So this helps me see the stuff. It says, the finest Cyprian, Latakia, and Orientals from Macedonia and Turkey give this mild English style blend its smoothness and seductive aroma and um, all already kind of very enticing isn't it and uh, so but uh, some people call this a crossover blend um, we'll see uh, they do call it a mild or a light English uh, whichever is easier for for you to uh, to see but it is a very, from what they say, everybody that has reviewed this tobacco has said it is an excellent, excellent blend. So uh, I want to go ahead and start with the tin note. And um, we'll go ahead and open this up. Hmm. It's a ribbon cut is kind of what it looks like. You can see the, the lot of Kia in it and the different Virginias. Hmm. It does have a little bit of a ketchupy uh, smell to it. Um. I smell just a slight vanilla in it. I'm probably wrong about that, but I do smell, no, I really do kind of smell a slight uh, vanilla uh, smell in it. I'm sure it's not really there when you light it. Um, it is a ribbon cut, which is one of my favorite cuts. I think a ribbon cut packs the bowl well, lights well, and stays lit well. And um, I'm going to be using Country Gentleman Rusticated. Missouri Meerschaum pipe. Um, I'm not going to use a filter in this tonight, um, but this is, uh, I think, the, maybe the best pipe to use for a new blend, just to kind of get um, some good flavors from that. So I'm going to go ahead and pack this up Wildcat style, which kind of tap the sides, tap the top, the rubbing ribbon cut doesn't uh, gravity down as easy as some of the others because of the you know so wide open so I like to kind of help it a, just a little bit on the tap down and uh, not too tight on this first smoke I kind of want to pack it loosely just so that I can make sure I get all the flavors that are in the tobacco I think sometimes when you pack it too tight, it compresses not only the tobacco, but some of the flavors. Don't know if that's true, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so that's packed in there very well. I'm going to do just a little bit more on the top. Once I get my final uh, bit in there, I like to give a little spin on the bowl and pack it just below the top of the bowl that way when I light it and it rises it's not going to 
burn the top of my bowl. And uh, like always, I like to use on the initial light, I like to use uh, matches. mild mm. that is really good Um, I don't really taste the vanilla. Uh, you know what? I take that back. I kind of do, especially on the kind of after I lit it. You know, I think this is a uh, lot of Kia blend, but I don't feel that the lot of Kia is the forward component. Boy, that's nice. Um, when I was doing some of the research for it, it was um, kind of... Uh, reading some of the reviews on the blend they said that it is comparable to the Cornell and Deal's um, Snug Harbor never had the Snug Harbor so I don't know if that's true or not some of you might have Boy, that's tasty. You know, after a couple of days of smoking the a Bingden, this is kind of a really nice change up, you know, and I don't know if Mutton Chop, how he has his rotation set up, but that would be a good way to do it. You know, if you had kind of a heavier, fuller tobacco, followed by a very mild one. Makes for a pretty good experience. That is just really good. Hmm. Keeper. <laughs> I'm going to finish this bowl up, watch some videos while I'm sitting out here in the lounge. Hope you guys have an awesome evening tonight. Blow some smoke rings in the air, but above all, be blessed. Talk to you soon, YouTube.